In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Mechelen. At number 1, we have the Stad Huis. This architectural marvel looks like it's straight out of a fantasy novel. Intriguingly, it's actually three buildings cleverly merged into one, a belfry, council hall, and the old cloth hall. It's a must-see for anyone interested in architecture and history. At number two, we have the Technopolis. This scientific museum is a blend of fun and education, offering a wide range of temporary and permanent exhibitions. Both adults and children will find the hands-on activities engaging, making it a perfect family outing. At number three, we have the Winter Garden of the Ursuline Nuns. This indoor garden offers a year-round spring experience. The stained glass roof is a spectacle in itself, casting beautiful patterns of light across the garden. It's a serene escape from the bustling city. At number four, we have the St. Rambouts Cathedral. This towering cathedral is a landmark that can be seen from almost anywhere in Mechelen. Climbing its 500 steps is a challenge, but the panoramic views from the top are absolutely worth it. At number five, we have the Dawson Barracks. This site serves as a poignant reminder of the Second World War, where over 25,000 Jews and around 300 Roma were deported. It's a place to learn and pay respects making it a deeply moving experience. At number six, we have the Spielgood Museum. This toy museum offers 7,000 square meters of toys, games, and dolls. It's not just for kids. Adults can take a nostalgic trip down memory lane, rediscovering toys from their past. At number seven, we have the Plankendale Zoo. This zoo offers a unique experience, allowing you to visit five continents in a single day. The layout is cleverly designed so you won't miss any of the animals, including the star attractions, the Indian elephants, at number 8, we have the Dale Pad. This waterside walkway offers a unique perspective of Mechelen. It's a tranquil experience that allows you to appreciate the city's architecture from a different angle. At number 9, we have the Het Zota Kunst Cabinet. This quirky museum focuses on odd paintings from the 16th century. Whether or not you understand the satirical messages, the artwork is fascinating to look at. At number 10, we have the Beginhof. This area is a charming part of the city filled with Baroque architecture and old breweries. The Beginhof Kirk building is a stunning example of Baroque architecture and is the highlight of the area. At number 11, we have the Fort Breendong. Originally built as a military fortress, it was later used as a Nazi concentration camp during the Second World War. A visit here is both educational and sobering. At number 12, we have the Ons Liev Varau van Hanswick. This basilica is as striking on the inside as it is on the outside. The interior is home to confessionals carved in the 17th century and a Madonna statuette believed to be over 1,000 years old. At number 13, we have the Royal Manufacturers de Wheat. Located in the Tongerlo Refuge, this world-renowned tapestry restoration and weaving workshop is a hidden gem. The building itself has a rich history, making it a double treat. At number 14, we have the Shep and Hueys. This art gallery is housed in a charming castle and features works from artists born in and around Mechelen. It's a great place to appreciate local art. At number 15, we have the courthouse. Once a palace and home to Margaret of Austria, this building is a significant part of Mechelen's history. Its gardens remain unspoiled and are a highlight of the visit. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Mechelen. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.